This University of Florida laboratory is helping Venezuelan doctors track diseases in their home nation. They were left in the dark when Venezuelan officials stopped publishing data on which diseases are affecting Venezuela. We know that these cells have Zika virus. The health crisis is made worse by economic and political upheaval and dwindling resources and medicines. When they stop funding public health, um, nothing good ever uh, comes up. The results are, are typically bad in that uh, diseases spread, and it's the people who then end up suffering. A surge in illnesses frustrated Venezuelan doctors who could not run lab tests. So Dr. Gabriela Blom in Gainesville, Florida, and Dr. Alberto Panis Mondolfe in Barquisimeto decided to create the Venezuelan Science Incubator to continue epidemiological studies and to train science and medical students. We began collecting samples from patients that had symptoms that resembled Zika virus and then uh, brought them to the University of Florida for laboratory testing to confirm the presence or absence of, of Zika virus uh, diagnostically. The University of Florida tested patient samples and found Zika cases in Venezuela. Scientists say government officials accused the doctors of scaring people and blocked further tests. Dr. Blum and Dr. Panis Mondolfi now training new researchers for Venezuela. Training the students on the ground, which is what our group has been doing, is, is vital for, for improving our ability to actually detect these diseases and also to be able to give the patients uh, their, the results of their diagnosis as quickly as possible. Students communicate with Dr. Blom through WhatsApp and Skype. She shows them patient samples analysis on her computer, along with laboratory and testing skills. She has served as a bridge in the area of virology, specifically in the area of arboviruses such as Zika, Dengue, and yellow fever. The electronic classroom means Venezuelan students learn, even though they have no actual lab equipment, according to Dr. Panis Mondolfi. If any of our students came to Gabriela's laboratory in the United States, they would quickly put on gloves and hold the pipettes. Doctors and students hope eventually they will have properly equipped laboratory in Venezuela.